In this section of the video, I'm going to cover some very brief overview basics of the Smart Notebook software. The Smart Notebook software is included with the purchase of our Smart Technology Smart Board. It is a proprietary piece of software made by Smart Technologies designed to interact with their particular style and brand of interactive whiteboard. It's an important tool using in the classroom because it's the natively written piece of software to work with the touch screen for writing and manipulating objects. When you watch the video section on non-Inkaware applications, you'll see that when you work with applications that are non-Inkaware, any screen captures that you save from drawing on non-Inkaware applications will be imported into this software. It's not necessary that you use any other applications with the interactive whiteboard if you simply want to do electronic or digital whiteboarding. The Smart Notebook application can be launched using the quick link on the floating tools. It looks like a little notebook icon. Or you can use the link right on the desktop labeled Smart Notebook, in this case Smart Notebook 10, which is the current version of the software. I'm going to double click on that just as if I would double click on it with a mouse. And you'll see the Smart Notebook software launch. What you'll see appear immediately is a blank screen. This has a very similar layout and format to another presentation software that you may be familiar with called PowerPoint. Uh, you will see that you have a series of slides appear in your tray over here, as well as a blank screen to draw on. If I hit the little plus icon on the page, it will add a new page. I'll hit that now. Now I have two pages over here on my uh, slide tray. I can draw on the first slide. I will draw the word hello and goodbye. When I put my pen down, you can see that these have become their own objects. This is based on when I put the pen down and the delay between when I'm writing on the board. Since I left a significant delay between hello and goodbye, they became two different objects that I can now manipulate. I can move it around the screen. The white dot in the corner allows me to make the object larger and smaller. The green dot on top allows me to rotate the object. And then you'll also see on the corner of the object there is an arrow which reveals a context menu for things like clone, which is to duplicate the object, uh, copy, paste, cut, uh, other actions that you would expect, as well as some recognize features. In this case it says recognize goodbye, and it actually converts my handwriting to text. Depending on the quality of your handwriting, this may work better or worse. It was able to recognize that I wrote goodbye, it probably will recognize that I wrote hello, indeed it does. And now I have two typewritten objects rather than two handwritten objects. I can move these around the screen, put them off out of the way here, and type or, or write some more on the board, such as no way. No way, buddy. Now I'm going to take this object, I can put it right over here. That's on my first slide, I can go to my second slide. And I can work in this screen and do uh, unlimited electronic whiteboarding, adding pages uh, as long as I want to, as much as I like. If I find that the size of this page is I'm running out of room, but I don't wish to add another page, I can hit Extend Page, which will actually make the paper uh, virtually longer. Uh, I prefer to use new slides rather than make longer paper, but that's a personal preference. You can add as many uh, pages to this as you wish. You do not have to work in the overview format here. There are some buttons across the top for the shade, which I will not be covering. The uh, full screen button, which if I hit this, actually makes this slide cover the full screen, gives you a little bit more writing room. It takes away the distraction of the other items. And as you move forward, you add additional pages simply by hitting the arrow. So now I'm on my second page, which is blank. Uh, I cannot go forward at this point, but as soon as I write something on this slide, you will see I have another forward arrow. This will add me another blank page. I can just keep going. Yes. And then I can add another blank page and so on and so forth. I can also hit the little uh, monitor icon here to go back from full screen back into the application and work with it here. This is also the place where you will see screen captures from non inkaware applications appear. I will uh, jump into uh, a PDF document for a moment here and just write on my PDF document with a few colors. And since it is a non-Inkaware application, it brought up a frame, took my ink onto a screen capture layer, and I'm going to hit the camera, and it'll send that right into the Smart Notebook software. I go put, uh, open up the Smart Notebook software. You can see I added a slide 
with that as an object. I can manipulate that just like I was manipulating the other objects. So I can move it around, I can grab the little dot here, make it smaller, put it off out of the way and say this is a, a non inkware. That's what that is. This can be handy if you want to capture a web page, uh, make some notes about it, and save it as part of your document that you give to your students at the end of your class. So now that you've written all over this application, and you've added a bunch of annotations and a bunch of ink and other objects to the screen, now what do you do with it? Well, if you are a wise person, you save all of your documents. I'm going to say something that I normally would not say to you. You do not want to save this document. Let me demonstrate why. When I say file and save or save as, the only options for saving are in the notebook formats. The newest one is called dot notebook, but they are all notebook or smart notebook format documents. Most of your students will not have the smart notebook software. They will not be able to open this document. You are absolutely welcome to save this dot notebook file and manipulate it or use it in your next class session so you can keep adding more and more notes and then uh, uh, give that entire set of notes from all of your sessions for the day or week to all of your class sections at the end of the week. Uh, you are definitely welcome to use the dot notebook format. However, if you are going to give this information out to other people, strongly recommend exporting, not saving, exporting. On the file menu, you will find the option for export. There are a number of formats in which you can export. There is web page. I do not recommend this. Image files allows you to save as a JPEG, uh, GIF, or PNG, or I believe TIFF is the other format. These are all standard image formats that pretty much any user should be able to open. That is a good option, perhaps not the best option. The best option, in my opinion, is to save as a PDF. There's also the option for PowerPoint. You can make a PowerPoint presentation out of this set of uh, uh, smart notebook slides. I'll use PDF as an example by clicking on export PDF and you will see here you have some options for how you save these notes. You can save them laid up multiple uh, note pages on one single uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet. You can save them in a handout format where there's pages on the side and notes fields over on the right. Or you can save it one slide per full sheet. It really doesn't matter which format you choose, whichever is most convenient for your purpose. And then you save this, it will save this as a PDF file, as a portable document format file. Most people have a PDF reader because it is a very standard common format of document that you will find all over the internet. It's good to export as PDF and then email to your students, upload to Blackboard, uh, add to your website or your blog, um, give out on a thumb drive, however you wish to distribute that information to your students. Again, saving saves as a notebook file. That's good for your own use or use between classes or even preparing notebook documents before you come into class so that you could have uh, topics of conversation already written on this sheet and then write in answers as you go. But for distribution to other people, strongly recommend using file and export and exporting in the PDF format, or perhaps the image format, or a format that other people would be able to more readily open. That covers the basics of using the Smart Notebook software. This covers approximately 1% of what the software is capable of doing, and we'll have additional information sessions and videos in the future to describe more of the advanced features and the ways you can use this software with other applications to enhance the teaching and learning experience.